session, we've done uh, crates going into the crate from all kinds of angles. He's driving in there. He loves going in there. He's like, I can get in there no matter what you do, Mama. Now I'm going to start playing with the crate door a little bit. When the door is closed, food is coming into the crate. When the door is open, no food is going to come. So let's see if we have, uh, can go in the crate. Right. Yeah. I'm going to feed him in the crate. Um, I'm also going to set myself up so that when I touch the door, it's going to be with that hand. Not with the, um, I'm not reaching across my body, so I'm not over there. Good. So, um, that was jumping head. <laughs> so I'm going to play with the door. When the door is partly closed, I'm feeding him. When the door partly closes, I'm feeding him. All we're doing is going, you know what, the crate door is not a big thing. The door just moves. When it's fully open, He's going to choose to come in, maybe the dogs would go out. As long as the door is open, nothing is going to happen. Oh, God. My timing is really off today. Um, so just so you know, even dog trainers make mistakes. When the door starts to close, food happens in the crate. When the door ha starts to close, food happens in the crate. When my hand is on the door, food happens in the crate. I'm going to fully close the door. Freak. Door is closed. Food happens outside the crate. Again, I prefer airline crates to these wire ones for that reason. I'm trying to feed the crate, not the dog. Door is open. Nothing happens. If he chooses to come back out, if he chooses to come out, I am going to see if he can just choose to go back in where I close the door and I start to feed in the crate again. And again, I want to be not just in one place. I want to try to move around with this. I am a lazy trainer. I tend to do it from one place. The door is open. Nothing happens. If the door is closed, then food happens in the bottom of the crate. I could be locking this, this door up. If he was not tolerating that, I would just be back to that first stage with the door opening and closing. If he was at a stage where the door closing caused him issues, then I would just close it, feed, open it. So I'm going to work where the dog is at. Close it, feed, open it. Close it, feed open it. 